Hello everyone and welcome back to Shikuya Let's Up Skill. I'm Prasanna and as I, I have I have committed you in my last video that I would be uh, shooting a separate video for uh, preparation of aptitude, quantitative aptitude test in the placement preparation. Today I'm back with this particular video, how to prepare or rather how to start your preparation for quantitative aptitude. So fundamentally in this video I will, I will be going ahead with three segments. In the first part of this video I am going to explain why quantitative aptitude tests are important. Because 90% of the candidates those who are preparing for placement preparations they think that anyways when I am going to join the company I am not going to work upon this quantitative aptitude test. I would be actually going ahead and coding or doing some uh, mechanical work into industry. There is no aptitude test. Then why this aptitude tests are being covered or, or the aptitude tests are part of this entire recruitment process. So I would be answering this question. In the second part, I'm going to actually give you uh, a formula where you have to manage your time while solving aptitude test. That is very important. And unless you're not going to practice with this particular formula that I'm going to give you, you won't be able to qualify uh, the quantitative aptitude tests. So that's the second part. In the third part, I'm actually going to unfold or I'm going to explore the entire quantitative aptitude syllabus along with the segments or the uh, parts that we at O2 Breathing Brains or Shikuya uh, have uh, always done for delivering the quantitative aptitude lectures to all our students since last seven to eight years. So this is the three parts. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead with a walkthrough of one of our course, uh, which is available already on the website. So towards the end of this webinar, I will be uh, giving you a demonstration of that particular course where you will be able to uh, understand how uh, quantitative aptitude tests are or quantitative aptitude uh, chapters are segregated in our course so that you will get a better clarity on that part. So if you are about to start your placement preparation with quantitative aptitude tests and you are confused, this video is for you. So let's understand why these quantitative aptitude tests are there in any recruitment process. As everyone knows, the very first important reason is to filter out the candidates because as you know, uh, there are lakhs of engineers getting passed out from various engineering colleges, but the companies do not have that much requirement. So whenever they come, the first round is filtration round. And obviously, quantitative aptitudes are a part of it. Second point, if you look at the nature of quantitative aptitude questions, basically they are related to mathematics, right? And the second important aspect to this is when you are supposed to solve all these mathematical questions in a stipulated time period, then any student or any particular student has to show a lot of presence of mind because the time is limited, probably they give you only 60 to 90 seconds to solve one question. With this, this is excess pressure while up appearing this test, you have to solve this question. So here they test your presence of mind. Second, problem solving skills to a large extent. So you have a question in front of you, you are supposed to solve that problem in a stipulated time. And if you are solving it correctly, that is the indication of a soft skill, right? That is problem solving skills or problem solving skill. And that is the major reason they have put this quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning. So how do you perform under pressure is actually being interpreted by the HRs. So even if that is not applicable or that is not required in the actual work in the industry, but this particular test, which is a cognitive type of test is really essential. So instead of criticizing the HR or the whole system that is around you, start to prepare yourself, focus on your preparation in aptitude test, and that will be beneficial for you. So every time when I deliver any of my quantitative aptitude lecture to all my students, in my first lecture, I always tell these people about the time management of solving a single question. 
because if you consider any aptitude test they will they will have around 30 to 40 questions in it and the time given is around uh, 60 sec 60 minutes or that is 1 hour or 75 so i i focus on delivering or telling something that is going to help everyone when they are solving each and every question for example for every question you have to manage your time and eventually you will be able to manage your time for the entire test so what i recommend is out of total time which is available to for one question 33 percent of that time you have to give it to the comprehension of a question because many times when there are uh, i can say jargons that is big big words used in the question the comprehension of that particular question becomes difficult and especially if you are from a marathi medium background marathi medium school background it becomes difficult for you to read the question and comprehend that question so initial 33 percent of the total time for one question you have to comprehend and understand what is actually given what is the data that is actually given in the problem which what is what is the calculation we have to do and what is to be derived so only 33 percent of the total time in the second 33% of the total time for one question, you have to actually do the calculations. Now, here is the interesting part. Unless you are good with fast calculations or mathematical tricks, you won't be able to do all the calculations in, in only 33% of the total time. So it's always recommended that you should be able to learn some topics like simplification, approximation or Vedic mathematics. That is highly required. Second important factor, Every aptitude question doesn't demand for lengthy or micro level or thorough level calculations. Many a times there is a lot of cancellations that can happen because even the person who is designing that question knows that you are supposed to solve the given question in very limited time. So try to focus on all such cancellations and avoid detailed calculations. Then and then only you will be able to complete the given calculations or desired calculations in 33% of the total time. And finally, most important, whatever comprehension you had done in the first 33% of the time and whatever you had solved in the second 33% of the time, for the remaining 33% of the time, you have to just make sure that verify and validate whatever you have done and tick mark the answer. Now, please remember, if you will follow this formula for each and every question during your practice, that will become a habit. And after a certain amount of time, you will realize that you are extremely quick while solving the quantitative aptitude tests. So I request you all to follow this formula even if you want to go ahead and solve some more practice problems, uh, I will give you an offer. Just put a comment in the comment box and my team will get back to you uh, with an access to free course on my website so that you can go there and you can solve some practice tests and practice problems which are already available there. Good enough? So I would like to request you, just put a comment and we will get back to you. So in the next segment of this video, I would be actually deciphering the sections that we have done at Shikuya or O2 Breathing Brains Private Limited for uh, delivering these sessions to our students. We have, we have segregated uh, all the quantitative aptitude chapters in seven sections depending upon the nature or type of questions that are being covered in one particular chapter. We have done this categorization. So I will go one by one and subsequently I'm also giving some examples of the particular chapters. So the very first section that we deliver and I recommend you should do the same thing is basic aptitude. So we cover uh, percentage, average, ratio proportion, mixture allegation and HCF and LCM. So if you ask me, I will recommend you that give 50% of your time for basic aptitude, if you are studying basic aptitude, give 50% of the time to percentage and remaining 50% to all these four chapters, average, ratio proportion, mixture relegation and HCFLC. Because if you are good at percentage, then you can solve the problems from profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, STD, to some extent trains, some extent races, you can solve all these problems only based on percentage. 
and one more thing in percentage chapter there is a concept called as product stability now this product stability is very simple a into b is equal to c you have to keep this c constant you have to keep this product that is c constant by uh, doing some variations in a and b now this is extremely important and i still remember i have one more i have a lecture on youtube which is freely available where i have explained how this a into b is equal to c is important because if you look at this speed into time is distance time into rate is work uh, if you calculate area length into breadth is area so even if you consider profit and loss majority of the chapters from aptitude test are depending upon this format a into b is equal to c so exclusively i have a separate video on this uh, which is available on youtube i will give you the link in the description you go and watch that video so this percentage is extremely important and rest of the chapters you have to go and study a lot you know uh, if you go go and take an example of mixture and allegation there is always one problem and that problem is called as or let me let me narrate the problem the problem is if you have 100 liters of pure milk and if you remove 5 liters from it and you will replace it by water right five liters are removed and replaced by water then if you will do this for subsequent two times or three times what will be the uh, percentage of concentration of milk so this is the problem now you know the beauty of quantitative aptitude if you will think logically you can solve this problem by using either percentage or by the basic formula of uh, discounting so in any of my lecture i will definitely explain this trick to solve that particular problem in a similar way all these chapters from basic aptitude gives you fundamental knowledge and you will be able to solve a lot of other uh, chapters only on only based on this basic aptitude now the second section is business aptitude in which we cover profit and loss simple interest compound interest and shares and debentures now in any given aptitude test this profit and loss and simple interest and compound interest have a huge amount of weightage and let me tell you one more thing this compound interest is completely based on percentage so if you will take one quantity and if you will increase it by 10% if you will again increase it by 10% you will again increase it by 10% it will go on compounding so if you are good at to comp uh, this compounding part or increasing part which we you will learn in percentage you will be easily able to solve compound interest and simple interest so this is extremely important that you should be able to study these chapters now let's uh, go ahead with the third segment which is also having a good amount of weightage in various placement preparations as well as competitive examinations and that is relative speed now we cover uh, uh, under the relative speed is speed time distance now as extension of speed time distance is trains so one train is going another train is crossing each other there are some stationary objects moving objects so all these concepts are covered in the uh, category trains on the chapter trains uh, which is again an extension of speed time distance now the third chapter in relative speed is boats and streams now look at this word what i use relative speed so in speed time distance we cover this separately that object moving alone or the motion of object alone and motion of object in relativity with the second object so that is called as relative speed so if you will extend the relative speed to some extent these chapters will come trains boats and streams and races do you understand my point so boats and streams are also important and a lot of uh, placement preparation tests covers uh, many problems from boats and streams as well now races is actually i can say a uh, 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 limited or very narrow uh, concept be is being used in the races from std there is only one uh, linear track or circular track and two or three people are running on this track and uh, the relative motion in these three people is covered in the races and that is uh, quite interesting and that is quite easy i when i usually cover uh, this kind of uh, concepts like trains and uh, boats and streams and relative speed i do it in a very uh, effective way i use this for i use i call it them and dabang problem and uh, singham problem so if you want to listen what i what is my analogy about giving these two names you have to watch my videos on youtube which are available so in the next section which is extremely important is combinatorics and this includes permutation combination probability and statistics you know uh, 70 to 80% of the students struggle in these chapters permutation combination and probability so uh, i would request everyone to watch our youtube channel where all the uh, problems and faqs are available at the same time 
you have to go to our courses where free some free courses are also available and many probability co uh, and permutation combination uh, questions are already covered into this particular thing you know combinatorics is actually having a higher weightage in many uh, uh, placement preparation examination especially when it comes to tcs they cover in advanced aptitude they cover uh, many problems from permutation combination and probability so i request you all to focus more on that particular chapters second is uh, geometry and mensuration where calculation of area calculation of number of triangles number of inner circles area of something volume of something so all these 2d shapes and 3d shapes are covered into geometry and mensuration and again a very important chapter time rate to work and pipes and systems are relatively easy and when you will solve these time rate and work by using the lcm method right that will become extremely simple so you can also watch some of our videos from other trainers as well at our channel next is uh, the the chapters related to number system which includes number theory factorials remainder theorems and unit digit and last two digit specifically this calculation of unit digit and last two digits are extremely important because they are extremely calculated if you look at the numbers you will feel this is very difficult and majority of the people leave this problem they keep it as optional but these problems are very simple so you have to just focus on a few basic concepts that you have to understand like cyclicity and other and once you are uh, good with it you can go ahead and you can solve this particular uh, chapters so i request you to go and watch my videos which is named the name itself is uh, number system explained so that video is available it was a uh, it was uh, uh, i think streamed two or two and a half years ago and that is very interesting you can watch that entire video uh, in one go i will include all these uh, like links of uh, this particular videos that i have spoken in my description so that you can go ahead and you can check it out now let me tell you very important thing as i said comment in the uh, comment box and our team will get back to you if you want to watch some videos on any particular chapter just put a comment and in the reply they will give you the links of those videos and finally i would like to bring uh, our platform on the screen so if you will go to our website you have to download the app if you are on the desktop app you will get a desktop application if you are on the mobile app you will get a mobile application right now you have to go to any course and you have to take a free trial probably i think on the screen i will give you a, a paid version of in, in the demonstration i will bring the paid version of this particular course but uh, now you can go to the particular course you can enroll and you can navigate through all the sections chapters uh, parts sections chapters and you will keep, you will drill down or you will go to each and every section you can watch the videos there you can solve the test there so now you can check here you can find a lot of tests free tests rather and you can go ahead and solve these particular questions for your practice so towards the end i must say thank you to you for watching this a little bit lengthy video and uh, thank you so much in the next video i'm going to come with the detailed analysis or uh, detailed explanation of preparation for logical reasoning Thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon